my painting studio, my home, my workspace, my everything. I'm Ruben Toledo. Um, I'm originally from Cuba, but this is where my roots have grown, and um, welcome to my place. I started working with Louis Vuitton drawing the, the city guide for New York City. They asked me to do a, basically almost like a family photo album of, of New York City and what it means to me and, and the feeling of the city, which is something I love. So that was an uh, easy introduction. I've traveled all over the world, but New York City really has the same soul and spirit that I think I have. So it's, 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 I could not live anywhere else. You know, every place has a feeling and a flavor, and New York City for me is, is, feels like the city that I was born in, which is Havana in Cuba. Um, the, the feeling of the street, the energy of the people, the, the melange of, of activity that happens from high to low, all classes, all nationalities, this is my flavor, you know? And there's no rules. It's, you, you make up your own part in, in this role that we play, and New York is such a theatrical city, it's almost like a, a play or a movie. Every day there's a different script and a different um, uh, mood. Sometimes it's romantic, sometimes it's, it's uh, about action, sometimes it's uh, murder, thriller. All of this is, is, is our, our regular meal, so we like that, we like that kind of change. To me, the idea is, is the most important, and uh, a, just a pencil and paper is the fastest way to put down an idea. I, I draw the way I think or the way I, other people I imagine write. I draw very fast, so to me, uh, a pencil and paper is about getting down what you're thinking about and your idea instantly. There's nothing faster than that. I try not to think too much. I try to use pure instinct. So. Most, most of my work, I try to let it be free. Whatever happens, happens. There's no preconceived idea of, of a structure or a way that it's going to happen. So I think she's right. It's mostly accidental in that I like to discover something. And the only way you can discover is, is just let yourself go and make, make mistakes. And of course, from those mistakes are born the, the, the next gem. So it's the only way you discover something. At least we try to make it true in our life. We still, both me and my wife, try to work this way where there's no border between any of the, uh, of the forms of creation. Things are just technical, whether you cut a dress or whether you paint a painting or make a sculpture or, or write a play or a scenario, it's all part of communication. In the end, that's all that art is. It's communicating. You're telling a story to your other fellow humans, you know? Every time I travel, right instantly, I get a, first of all, I come to a, to a place with your idea or your, 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 your fantasy of where you're going and what, what the people are like. And, and you bring that along already, but instantly at the airport, you start to, to get other messages about where you're going, even on the airplane already. And of course, when you arrive, you, you instantly get another uh, tidal wave of, of inspirations and feelings. Sometimes I arrive in Paris and I get a completely different feeling from six months earlier when I was there. I really like that. It's like smelling a new perfume or, or seeing new makeup on a girl or a new haircut. I, I like what, what, what the whole uh, society as a whole has, has been inspired to now put out. I, I really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. 